So you would think if someone were to ask you, what is your favorite scene from Superman? It would be a scene where someone is being rescued, or Superman is throwing a car, or flying, or something along those lines. But I think one of the best scenes in Superman is from the first movie with Christopher Reeve. What made Christopher Reeve such a good actor is when he was being Clark Kent, who was meant to be this sort of innocent doofus, he really sold it. There was no inflated ego, no attempt to show or let slip any of his actual superpowers. He committed entirely to this meek, aspiring reporter. Reeves played Clark Kent perfectly, and that was one of the biggest contributing factors that made Christopher Reeve the best Superman. And when he switches gears to the sullied Superman, he pulls off indifferent and angry just as effectively. It really felt like you were watching two different actors do these scenes. Sometimes male actors who are known for their looks are overlooked when it comes to their actual talent. Sometimes we all get a bit cynical and think, oh, they got this role because of their looks. But Christopher Reeve was actually a really great actor. Reeve studied drama at Juilliard, which is kind of like saying he went to Harvard or Oxford for acting. Some other Juilliard alumni include Robin Williams, William Hurt, Adam Driver, and Kelsey Grammer. (laughs) But Christopher Reeve isn't the only actor to have maybe only been seen as a pretty boy. Actors like Leonardo DiCaprio, Robert Pattinson, and Johnny Depp have all given Oscar-worthy performances, but in the past have maybe sometimes been considered actors who are cast just for their looks. But that's just not the case. These are all very talented actors. Coming back to Superman, even on the set, Christopher Reeve had to defend his own honor against more seasoned actors. Reeve, among others, had a hard time getting co-star Marlon Brando to respect him on the set, with Brando sort of poking fun at his acting style and taking the role too seriously. So, one has to ask oneself, what is the point of this video? And today's point is to not judge a book by its cover, even if that cover is really, really ridiculously good looking. (laughs) 